It may be hard to imagine, but at one point, Brooklyn was all farmlands. Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm here in front of the Hendrick Lodhouse, House, a farmhouse in Marine Park that outlived the surrounding urbanization. See, until recently, I didn't even know that New York City, including Brooklyn, was originally Dutch. The island of Manhattan was colonized and settled in the 1620s, and through the 1640s and 50s, six farm towns began to spring up around Brooklyn. The name Brooklyn in Dutch means marshland, but more on that in a moment. The first town up north was Brooklyn, now called Brooklyn Heights, surrounded at the bottom with a bunch of hills known as Gowanus. To the east is the town of Bushwick, and to the west is the town of Utrecht, named after the Dutch city of Utrecht. Underneath were three towns, Gravesend, Midwood, later known as Flatbush, and Flatlands. The road connecting these last three is known today as King's Highway. Gravesend was the only town ever to be colonized by a woman named Lady Moody, along with other Dutch and English families, including the Van Sicklen family. On the corner of McDonald Avenue and Gravesend Neck Road stands the Van Sicklen House and Cemetery. Legend has it that Lady Moody lived in that house and is buried in that cemetery. As I mentioned, Brooklyn was originally a marshland, and today the water starts on the south side of Marine Park on Avenue U. The street that runs along the west side of the water is called Gerritsen Avenue. Back in Dutch times, this water went as far back as Avenue L Park, with some evidence still visible today. Bay Avenue and Olean Street run diagonal to the streets nearby, but they are on the same line with Gerritsen Avenue, indicating that they ran alongside the water back when it went that far. Before it became a park in the 1930s, the area of today's Marine Park was a mill that grinded flour which fed the towns in Brooklyn, including during the Revolution, where it fed George Washington's men as well as the British, but more on that another time. Today, the area along the west side of Marine Park is called Gerritsen Beach, named after the tide mill that stood there. Near Avenue W, you can still see the remains of the mill. I'm here by the Gerritsen Inlet, the natural boundary between the towns of Gravesend and Flatlands, and this is the opening to the Gerritsen Mill Tide Pond. The way the mill worked was that the pond opened up over here and they closed it off at high tide when the pond was full. They then used that water to work the mill. From its start, New York City has always been an urban center. The little hints of the Dutch farm roots are all around us. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.